when it comes to tax saving in investment options there are primarily two important investment options one is mutual funds and the other is unit linked insurance plans so out of these two which is the best this is a very common question i'm hearing from my clients too but then today let me help you understand and you know slice it down into details and probably you will be able to make a better decision based on this video so let me help you understand what a mutual fund is what a ulip plan is and then you'll probably find the difference between these two and then make a decision which is suitable for you so as you know if you invest in a normal mutual fund you'll not get tax benefit if you want tax benefit under section 80c you'll have to invest in elss mutual funds equity linked savings schemes similar way any ulip plan will give you tax benefit the only compulsion is you'll have to take compulsorily 10 times of your premium annual premium as the life cover absolutely fine but then the challenge number one is when you go with mutual funds you will actually have very less entry load or no entry load absolutely nothing but in case of ULIP plans, there's something called premium allocation charges, which may vary anywhere from 4 to 6, 8 percent. And every year you'll end up paying some small money. And in mutual funds, except fund management charges, you'll not have any other charges. Everything, everything is, you know, uh, uh, clubbed into one called FMC charges. But in case of ULIPs, you'll have something called policy admin charges, You'll have something called mortality charges. You'll have something called uh, premium allocation charges. And you'll have fund management charges. So understand, there's one charge here, there are too many charges. But then, if you look at mutual funds, the fund management charges, though it is the only charge, which is really high, mutual fund companies charges anywhere between 2.25% to 2.5% fund management charges but in case of ULIPS the fund management charge is just about 1.25% or 1.5% see the difference it is almost a percentage think about it in the long run if you're investing let's say a lakh rupee every year for 20 years by the end of 20th year you would have invested 20 lakh and that would have grown to a crore rupee now one crore rupee 1% makes a lot of difference you will end up with paying a lakh rupee extra charges every year but in case of ULIPS it is less but then when you are investing money you will have to pay a premium allocation charges which is actually not that big if you look at it from a long term perspective so just to give you a conclusion on this if you are looking at long term investments say anything upwards of 8-10 years go with ULIPS if you're looking at short-term investments of 3 to 6 7 years it is good to go with ELSS schemes equity linked savings schemes but then the question here is if I am looking at tax benefit I'm looking at a long-term benefit is this really good to go with ULIPS what other benefit it offers than mutual funds what if the mutual fund you know, I've, um, the ULIP plan I've chosen is not performing well. Okay, that's the beauty of ULIP plans. In case of mutual funds, once you go with a fund, you'll have to stay with it as long as you're in the fund. You have absolutely no option to take out your money. But in case of ULIP plans, you have an option. See, mutual funds, let's say I've invested in a fund which is not doing good, I'll have to exit completely. Do I have an option to switch? No, but in ULIPS, you have an option to switch. You can switch from an a, a equity fund to a debt fund or a balanced fund. And now, most of the insurance companies are offering you unlimited switches. Which means, when the market is not doing so great, you can switch it from equity to debt. And when it is actually recover recovering, switch it back from debt to equity. This option will make you lips lot more convenient than mutual funds but still if you're looking at you lips for three five years i won't recommend you to go with mutual you lips i recommend you to go with you lips uh, sorry mutual funds because mutual funds will give you this convenience of coming out in three five years and there are no entry loads or no exit loads all that 
but in ulips these charges are there but if you're worried about market risk like what if market falls down in the next three years five years then yes ulips has this convenience of switching so keeping this in mind if you're a long-term investor you're somebody who is looking at very safe you know wherein you want convenience of switching between funds go with ulips if you're looking at just the good returns you're looking at you know short term maybe three five years and you're really not bothered about market things market performance i mean market crashes and all that go with mutual funds because here if the market is really not doing good and you want to take it out or if you think market in the next three months is going to fall down you can probably exit from mutual funds and take out all your money but in ulips you don't have to exit the plan just switch the funds so i think these are the two major benefits one is the fund management charges which are too high in mutual funds like about 2.25 percent but in ulips it's hardly 1.25 to 1.5 percent and number two in case of mutual funds there are no other charges but in ulips there are couple of other charges which will again add you know make your fund size low third when you invest in mutual funds you have no option to switch when the markets are falling down the only option is to exit the fund or lose the money but in case of ulips every day you can switch your funds from debt to equity equity to debt that option is available with this it's time to end if you need any assistance in choosing the right investment just leave a missed call on indianmoney.com financial education helpline number 0226181611 or post a request on indianmoney.com website or download indianmoney.com's robo advising platform from google play store we will call you back help you make wise financial decisions if you like this video please share this with your friends and family also subscribe to indianmoney.com youtube channel to receive regular videos on money management Thanks for watching. Be wise, get rich.